If you would like our free newsletters on various religious topics, just send us an email at cdebater at aol.com and free newsletters will be sent to you by mail. Just provide your postal address in your email. The following are samples of some of the newsletters we have available. Does God Believe in Atheists? Part 1 Seventh-day Adventism, True or False? The Agony of Deceit The Origins of Muhammad's Religion Spiritual Warfare Are Psychic Mediums Communicating with Ghosts or Demonic Spirits? Testimony to the Eternal Godhead, the Trinity. From Tradition to Truth, a Priest's Story. An Evaluation of the Oneness Pentecostal Movement. Mormonism, Counterfeit Christianity. Turn or Burn. Jehovah's Witnesses, Deceived Deceivers. Links to these newsletters can also be found at our website www.biblequery.org Once on the home page, simply click on the menu icon at the upper left hand corner. Then click on the newsletters button. Feel free to print them out. 1 Peter 3.15 says, But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. It came to our attention that Benny Hinn, the famous word faith preacher that once said in one of his books that there were nine gods, he later, of course, edited that out. But uh, now it's come to our attention that he is supposedly turning from a lot of his evil ways that he's done for decades in his ministry with all this word faith, prosperity gospel, uh, all the lies and deceits. I mean, this it's pretty early in this situation. I'll show you a clip here of some of this, and then we'll make some concluding comments and move on. Today, when I look at the Bible, I don't see the Bible in the same way I saw the Bible when I began. Uh, I'm into my Bible, I'm into the Word now way, way more than most people even realize. But it's for me personally. It's not so I can preach it and teach it. And, and let me just say this, yes, I am not going to stop telling people to believe that God wants them to be blessed and to prosper and to succeed. Well, that's biblical. It's in the Bible. It's biblical. Right. And but like you said, there's just been an extreme abuse of that in certain and That's ways. what I don't want. And that's what you're what you're getting away from, which is which is beautiful. So and imagine that this is all in response to their criticisms. Are you doing any of this in response to criticism? Not one of them. I don't even know what they say. I don't care to know what they say. It's not important to me what they say. All right, you heard it there from Benny Hinn, the notorious false TV prophet. And I look at this situation right now, and we are early on in this Benny Hinn so-called turning from his evil ways in many regards. But let's take a look at Matthew chapter 27, verses 1 through 10, quoting now from the New American Standard Bible, the NASB, which is my favorite translation. You see there, the header says, Judas's remorse. Now, keep in mind, this is not true biblical repentance from Judas. This is the biblical record from Matthew chapter 27. It says, Now when morning came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people conferred together against Jesus to put him to death. And they bound him and led him away and delivered him to Pilate the governor. Then when Judas, who had betrayed him, saw that he had been condemned, he felt remorse and returned the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. But they said, What is that to us? See to that yourself. And he, that's Judas, threw the pieces of silver 
into the temple sanctuary and departed. And he went away and hanged himself. The chief priest took the pieces of silver and said, It is not lawful to put them into the temple treasury, since it is the price of blood. And they conferred together and with the money bought the potter's field as a burial place for strangers. For this reason, that field has been called the field of blood to this day. Then that which was spoken through Jeremiah the prophet was fulfilled. And they took the pieces of silver, the price of the one whose price had been set by the sons of Israel, and they gave them for the potter's field as the Lord directed me. End quote. So what I think we have here is a situation where Benny Hinn is feeling the same kind of remorse for all his evil deeds, actions, and teachings for all these decades that Judas felt for what he did in his betrayal to Jesus. It's a remorse. It's a feeling sorry about all the evil he had done. And then, of course, he went out and hanged himself. But we know from the biblical record that Judas went to hell. And he's there to this day, waiting for Judgment Day. So this remorse that Judas had for all his evil activity still didn't save him from an eternity in hell fire. Well, I think in my opinion at this point, at the time we're doing this video, is that the same applies to Benny Hinn. He's remorseful, at least that's what he says. But I'm not convinced he's got any kind of biblical repentance at all. And he still may be just the same old unsaved 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14 guy that he's always been. And therefore, he's simply demonstrating to the world that he's like Judas was. He's remorseful, but that doesn't mean he's truly repentant, as the Bible says you must be. You must repent and truly believe. And I don't think he has. And it goes back to one of my favorite theologians named John Riesinger. John said, time and the devil will tell. So we'll see what becomes of Benny Hinn as the years roll on. But as John Riesinger always said, time and the devil will tell. Besides all that, I myself have watched some of his confession videos and they hardly seem to be much of a confession at all. So I'm really thinking all Hen's doing here is trying to reinvent himself a little bit. To, he's uh, actually just piling on more of his con job, snow job, hoodwink type tactics to take people down the rabbit trail he wants them to go. But I digress. Let me just point our viewers here to a video done by someone I highly respect, and I've mentioned him in some of our other videos. It's Justin Peters with Justin Peters Ministries. He's got an excellent video out called, Has Benny Hinn Repented? An Answer and a Plea on YouTube. So check out that YouTube video. It's about an hour and 50 minutes long. So there's a lot of documentation there that I'll get into this in more detail. Because as it says here in part of the description text, Benny Hinn on September the 3rd, 2019 confessed that the prosperity gospel is wrong and he was in error for teaching it. And of course, now he's got a lot of people thinking he's really repented of this and a lot of the other heresies he still teaches to this day. So check out this video and see what Justin has to say about it. God bless. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Justin Peters. I hope that this finds you and your family doing well. And I want to thank you very much for joining me. I'm putting this video together because uh, in the last week or so, the buzz in the evangelical world has been that Benny Hinn has repented. I am recording this on the afternoon of Sunday, September the 8th, 2019. And uh, at the start of the week, on Monday, September the 3rd, Benny Hinn put out a video that really shocked the evangelical world in which he says that he has repented of his prosperity gospel theology and prosperity gospel preaching. Uh, this short video, is about four and a half minutes long or so, uh, went viral and uh, it just went all over the place and uh, people were talking about it on Twitter and Facebook and all this. And so I saw it and I watched the video and I very quickly put out a statement on Twitter saying, do not be fooled. This is not repentance. 
And uh, I was beginning to get emails from people saying, oh, Mr. Peters, have you seen this? This is so exciting. It's such you know wonderful news. And, and uh, some people, a lot of people on social media were expressing what I would uh, describe as uh, cautious optimism. You know, not totally buying it yet. They want to see how it plays out. But they were, many people were willing to give Benny Hinn the benefit of the doubt. Uh, and so when I put up my statement saying that this is not real repentance very quickly, uh, I got a fair amount of blowback for that, and uh, it, it really troubled me because some of the blowback was actually coming from people uh, in our theologically conservative circles, even soteriologically reformed circles, and that surprised me a little bit, I suppose. So uh, I, I watched this play out over the next several days, over the course of last week, uh, I stuck stuck to my guns and said, no, this is not repentance. And uh, so I want to put this video together to, to more fully flesh out than what I'm able to do on Twitter, uh, why this isn't real repentance. And so if you will join me for the next, I don't really know how long this video is going to be, hour, hour and a half, thereabouts, uh, if you may have just seen my dog walk in. But uh, if you will join me for this video uh, I think you'll see why this is not real repentance. And uh, this is going to, I think this is going to provide a good uh, lesson for us in what real repentance actually is and what it looks like. And we'll see that this is not it. And I say that for a number of reasons. Now, some of the most important things that I will say in this video will come towards the end of it. So uh, I would, I would ask that before you uh, comment in any kind of an extensive way on this video that you would at least um, uh, watch the whole thing so you can get the full context and and see my real concerns that I will more fully flesh out towards the end of this. But we're going to look at a number of video clips of Benny Hinn. If you like our YouTube channel, please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and then by also clicking the bell above to get an automatic update whenever we produce another YouTube video for our C Answers TV channel. Please share our videos with your friends and relatives. May God bless you. Only one life will soon be passed. Only what is done for Christ will last. See related videos by tapping or clicking screens.